How do you find the half-life for a zeroth order reaction? By keeping in mind that after one half-life, the, the concentration inside the solution slash reaction vessel will be the initial concentration cut in half or divided by two. So all I need to do is solve for t, the amount of time elapsed, for my concentration to reach the initial concentration divided by two. Ah, uh, solving for t, one of my favorite things to do. What I'm gonna do is move my kt to the left hand side and move my a naught over two to the other side. I flip the sign on the kt because it's now on the left. I still have my a naught on the right hand side and I'm subtracting away a naught over two on the right hand side now. So my t is the right hand side this minus half of that leaves you with half of that divided by k. And so my expression for the half-life of a zero with order reaction is the initial concentration divided by two times the uh, rate constant. If you were given concentration, an initial concentration of substance, like uh, I don't know, 0.1 moles per liter, and you were given a K, uh, let's make it 0.1 as well. Then all you'd need to do is plug those numbers in. 0.1 divided by 2 times 0.1 leaves you with 0 0.5, and that would be the half-life. Now, it's basically all it comes down to when you're solving for the half-life. Go to the integrated rate law, make your concentration, the initial concentration divided by 2, solve for T. It's a beautiful thing. And you can use that to plug values in to find the actual half-life in real life. All right, best of luck.